Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. Y'all, in the last one, if you haven't seen it yet, run now, because I'm about to drop a huge spoiler that we learned in the last one, so I'm giving you a chance. Get out. Go. Quick. If you want to know what happened, we learned that, unfortunately, the bad feeling I had was correct, and that we are dealing with two dead people, Minister Inga, who has been killed by somebody, and Dirk, who has been dead for at least what we're saying a few days, according to Emma, who spoke in the last one about finding his body in the sarcophagus. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, now we're trying to spin on who was the one that channeled him. Uh, we're talking about Maya because Maya obviously was the one that had a secret that she was keeping for Dirk. And that's where we are right now. Um, and Amara has just been not very helpful <laughs> at all. So it looks like Maya kept this promise to Dirk to do this. For the reason being, I'm still not sure. He obviously knew that something like this was going to happen, but how? I'm not sure. I would first have you answer this. Do you believe the accused death will impact what we know about this case? So he's talking about Dirk right now, now that we have figured out that he's gone. All right, what do we have to say about this? Yes, and I believe I can explain everything now. All right, well, uh, <laughs> Apollo, I hope you can, because I still got some questions. Very well, your explanation, please. All right, here we go. Dirk entered the tomb at 3 p.m. The time of the hostage exchange was to take place. Or rather, Dirk, as channeled by Maya Fey, did. Now, by the time he entered the tomb at 3 p.m., Minister Inga was already dead. I say that because we know the minister was murdered at 2 p.m. That's true. But there was someone else in there. This person was already hiding in the tomb waiting to channel Dirk in place of Miss Fe <gasps> Okay. There's only one person it can be. Now, I don't know why in place, but we're gonna hopefully figure this out. It has to be her. There is nobody else. Mm -hmm. But why? That's the thing. The why is what's bothering me so bad. It was you, wasn't it? What are you gonna say, darling? No? Nothing. The fact of the matter is, Queen Amara killed Minister Inga at 2 p.m. I do believe that she killed him, yes. She then went to his private quarters and channeled his spirit. The minister, thinking he was going to be late, hurried to the tomb for the hostage exchange. This is craziness. Because remember, the ministers only... They, oh God, they only think about what they knew right before they died, right? It's so creepy and weird. But that's what they're going with. For once in the tomb, Queen Amara stopped channeling Minister Inga and hid herself. Then, when Dirk entered at 3 p.m., she snuck up from behind. Yep, look at that. And forcibly drove Dirk's spirit out of Miss Faye's body. Oh shit, look, okay. Drove his spirit out of her body. Impossible. Objection! What do you mean? Actually, there is a way to do that. Oh wait, do we know about that Phoenix? With a mangatama of parting, that is. Phoenix, thank God you're here. I totally forgot about that shit. Using one, anyone could drive a spirit out of a person's body, even if it refused to leave. Surely you knew that, huh? Being like almost a goddess and all. Are you telling me that the extra pale brown Magatama in the tomb was- <gasps> That makes sense. I forgot about that. Oh shit. That's right. Didn't we see one there? The poop one. <laughs> Well, you know, listen. That it was. That's right, Prosecutor Sadmati, and you've seen one in action before. You saw how the glowing red Magatama sent the High Priest back to the Twilight Realm. That's right! I totally forgot about that! Well, it seems like ages ago, doesn't it? And how it turned into a spent pale brown afterwards. I absolutely forgot that part of it. Damn! If I had remembered that, I might have known when we saw it that, uh-oh, someone was- something happened here. Someone was sent back. Oh no, okay. 
In other words, the brown Magatama found in the tomb looks that way because its power had been used up in pushing Dirk's spirit out of Miss Faye's body, right? Oh, I probably passed out as soon as Dirk's spirit left my body. I was exhausted after channeling him for so long, after all. I'm sorry, Maya. That must have been difficult. After that, Queen Amara must have dressed Miss Faye in her usual outfit and tied her up. Okay. I'm not sure where she got the outfit, but we can assume she had it all planned out. This is so much of a plan that I feel like... How did this get pulled off? That's what I'm saying. Like, how? Then, Queen Amara must have changed into Dirk's clothes, smeared blood onto them, picked up the knife, and channeled Dirk's spirit. Oh, brother. This is craziness. To make it look like he was there. That's how she made it look like Dirk had committed the crime. Wait, there's layers to this. There's like many layers to this that I still haven't figured out. What kind of planning could have happened or could have gone on to make this occur? There's so much logistics to this. And that's how she escaped right under our noses. How would we have figured this out? In normal terms. Oh, you oh, you sweating now? Oh, shoot. I don't know, Apollo. The whole thing still seems a bit far-fetched. I know, but like... It, no, I agree. I absolutely agree with that. The planning that would have gone into this. This is like military strategist perfect, is what this is. Dirk, what was going through your mind while all this was unfolding? Was he in on it? Were they all in on it together? I don't understand. I just, I don't have the piece yet that I need. Surely. That must be what it is. Wait, who's that? Who's that talking, please? Oh, is that you? Nayuta? Those dreams of revolution Dirk was always spouting. They placed nothing but false hope in the minds of the people. Don't say that. And in the end, they were simply fantasies. Nayuta! You don't really believe that, do you? I mean, he might. Nayuta, how can you- Talk to them. No, 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 don't give me, no, don't give me this. Karma has spoken. The dream of revolution has withered on the vine. Its fate is sealed. The other insurgents will soon wake from their shattered dreams. Oh boy, this is getting dark. No, Dirk's dream can't die like this. I'm not going to sit back and let that happen. I can't, and I won't. Nayuta? Don't forget that Dirk's been proven innocent. His name is no longer tainted by the charge of murder. Now the rebels and their sympathizers who have been calling for his release can't be charged with abetting the accused. So the revolution is far from over. It's only just begun. Objection. That's right. No, Dirk has not yet been proven innocent. What do you mean? He didn't murder Amara, she's right here. You merely indicted the possibility of his innocence. What are you talking about, though? Dirk is indeed dead. However... What if it was Dirk who killed Minister Inga while being channeled by Miss Faye? We already went over this! How could that have been when he was, when he was killed at 2? And while the crime could have occurred at 2 p.m., you have yet to substantively prove it. Or do you have conclusive proof that the time of Minister Inga's death was at 2 p.m.? What does the autopsy say again? Well, no, I don't, but does it not say the time of death? Oh, no, it says time of death is approximately 3, right? But then remember, we went through a couple of hoops to even try to, to claim that it happened at 2 because of the... Of the uh, circumstances that happened around it. It seems further testimony will be required of me. As it would appear that I have fallen under suspicion, I would like to state my case. Would you now? Bet you would. You're still here? You can leave. No, we, you're... It's fine. You can go home. <laughs> you know what? Go have a rest. Prosecutor Sadmati, the rebellion must be snuffed out once and for all. You must... Prove Dirk Sadmati to be the foul murderer that he was. I don't 
understand why Nayut is still going through with this. What have they got on him? More than just his mother's murder, surely. Like, more than his mother's safety, because she's there. She's all good? What would make him still cling to this? And every last insurgent and their sympathizers. She must have him clear brainwashed or something. He, maybe he believes it by now, you know, because it's been so long. Sometimes when you go through something for a long time, you start to believe. Must be found guilty under the Defense Culpability Act. She wants to make everyone guilty. All of the rebels, all of the insurgents, anyone that's helped them. Oh no. As you wish, your eminence. Why is Nayuta doing this? Karan shouldn't have him under her thumb anymore. That's what I said. Amara's not a hostage, so what gives? Something's wrong here. Nayuta, what's left to chain you to her like this? Something. Uh, so I, I'm worried about this. I think it's something bad. Very well, Queen Amara. Please proceed with your additional testimony. All right, let's see what she has. What could she possibly say at this point? Okay. You have no proof. Well, okay. Well done, lawyer. You have painted me as a killer with nothing but your silver tongue. However, you have no evidence proving your distasteful theory. Furthermore, Dirk could have been committed, or sorry, Dirk could have committed the crime while being channeled by Miss Fay. Now, let us end the charade. Oh, hello. For the eternal glory of Kurain and its people. Ma'am, th that is literally just the same thing that you just said. You didn't have to make testimony for it. You literally just said, hey, maybe he killed him while he was channeled by Maya Fight. You didn't have to come up on stage with all the animals just to waste my time with that shit. You already said it. <laughs> Do you understand now, you putrid pepper? There is no point in defending Dirk any longer. It has all been in vain. No, there's got to be something. Let it go and move on, right? Well, not today. <laughs> not today, Satan! Your theories are but a pillar of salt that crumbles at the slightest breeze. Thank you. No, I... Listen, I'm proud of it. My, my salt theories. <laughs> but no more. This ends here and now. The defense may proceed with his cross-examination. Oh, thanks. I can't wait to get to the bottom of this. Listen! I didn't see anything that we could actually do anything with, but maybe if we press her enough, she'll say something that we that we can use. That's what I'm gonna go with. Right, okay. Well done, lawyer. You've painted me as a killer with nothing but your silver tongue. You're welcome. Listen, I do what I gotta do. Convincing others is all part of a lawyer's trade, so I'll take that as a compliment. You would, wouldn't you? I suppose you have deceived countless souls with your lies. Uh-oh. But I should not be surprised, considering you learned from him. You know what I'm wondering now? She really seems to think that he tried to kill her. I don't half wonder if Garan put that into her head. Like, maybe if you don't know for sure and you've gone through a traumatic experience like that, you would probably believe it, right? Especially if that's all that's been fed to you over all this time. I wonder if she knows how much Dirk loved her. Oh no, see, I'm worried about that part because that's going to be very emotional if she even believes it at all. Him? You mean Dirk, right? Yes, the man who deceived and seduced me, a grand priestess with his silver tongue. Whoa, you know what? I don't wanna hear, I really, no, I'm good. I don't wanna hear about my dad doing stuff like that. That's a little gross to me. Listen, you keep that under wraps, all right? Uh, we are still talking about the case, right? Apollo, why are you me? I just have a question. Surely you have heard of a lady falling for the wrong man before? Ah, uh, but to think that I, of all people, would fall under that devil's spell. Is this all shit that Garan put in her head? Probably. Wow, how did they ever get together in the first place, let alone procreate? Listen, we don't think about these things, it's your dad. I would advise all here today to beware this lawyer's silver tongue. Lest you too be unjustly painted as a criminal, as I have been. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. However, you have no evidence proving your distasteful theory. We really don't, do we? I should look again. I admit I don't have any solid evidence yet. 
But you're the only one who could have committed the crime. What on earth do you mean? Including Miss Fay, there were only three spirit mediums and Kurain. Furthermore, when the crime scene was first discovered, Queen Garan was with me and Mr. Wright while Miss Fay was tied up in the tomb. That means that the Dirk we saw after the minister's murder could only have been channeled by you, Queen Amara. I mean, I, I believe that. <gasps> Insolent lawyer. All right, okay, uh, whoa. All right, you need to stop. Oh, forgive us your mercifulness. Really, your majesty? Objection. What? Ah, oh, but have you considered the following defense? What if there was, unbeknownst to us, another spirit medium in Korean? You're gonna drop that on us now, are you? Who? Objection! Let me guess it's you. Oh, come on. What are the chances? You lack the evidence to support your claim that Queen Amara is the killer. Which is why you have had to use the process of elimination to zero in on her. No, it only makes sense because she's the only other one here that can do it. It therefore stands to reason that you would have to rule out all other possibilities as well. Well, can you eliminate the possibility of another spirit medium defense? Of course I can't. I don't think we have anything that'll do that, do we? What are we gonna do, take a census of everyone? Under the circumstances, Apollo, there are two ways to establish Amara's guilt. We either prove she killed Inga, or prove she was in the tomb. Oh, okay, think. Prove she was in the tomb, or prove she killed Inga. How do we do either of those things? Hmm, which one can I actually prove? I... One second. I don't know. Think. Think, 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 think. The tomb. What do we know about it? What do we know? What did we find there? Okay, the autopsy report is what we would probably use to, to prove that she killed him, but how? Blood loss from stab wound in the back. Here's the diagram. There was a broken pillar that we know was broken by the gun. We found his button in, like, the ashes of the incense as well, which proved there was a costume change of some kind somewhere. Maya was in there. What else do we know? The knife, the phone, the gun. This gemstone. Pink butterfly pendant. Where did we find this? Who had this? Fingerprint is in there, but we don't know whose it is. Where was this found? Was this found in the tomb? We we did find this in the tomb, right? And then we showed it to Dirk in the detention center, and he said, where'd you find that? And look, if you look, he also has a matching one. On this photo here. Which we did not see before. We've only seen it once we saw this photo, I believe. He didn't, like, show this in the detention center. I don't believe. I don't think so. Does that prove that she was in there? We, I, the problem is, is I can't remember if we actually found it in the tomb. I think that we did, though. Because here, see, it doesn't say in the details, and I kind of wish that it had, but maybe it's not supposed to. Usually when you find things in the tomb, it says where they were. Right, or, or anything on a crime scene. It usually says where they were, but now I can't remember. See, this says discovered in the ashes of the incense. It seems to belong to Dirk. Fingerprint was found on the inside of the lid. Ooh, if we found that in the tomb, that could be used to say this is hers. I bet it's hers. Even though it said seemed to belong to Dirk, if he's got the blue one, I bet that belongs to her. I'm gonna go off on a limb. I'm gonna try it. If it's wrong, then we just have to backtrack and try something else. I can prove that Queen Amara was in the tomb when the murder occurred. It seems you are ever bent on painting me as the killer. Well, if the shoe fits. Very well. Let us see some evidence that proves I was at the scene of the crime. You know, the pink pendant does match her outfit too. 
I just noticed that. You do have some, don't you? I do. Oh, wait, was I supposed to press it there? Oh, maybe I pressed it here. There's nothing to prove that I was even at the scene of the crime. Would I... Hang on, would I present it? I know sometimes we don't like to do this without pressing all of the dialogue, but... Mm. Objection! Oh, shit, sorry. Yes, yes, ma'am. I'm on your case. Queen Amara. Does this pendant look familiar to you? Why, that is... Oh, so it does, does it? You know it. Okay, good. We found it in the tomb! And it has the minister's blood on it. Thank God for that. Hang on. One second, please. I forgot something. Uh, d did it say that the minister's blood on it and I totally just, like, went by that? Right, it did. Yeah, it's the victim's blood on it. Jeez. I, I mean, I, that's an obvious clue right there, but I overlooked it. I was just like, it belongs to her. We found it in a tomb. <laughs> but either way, it means that she was there, and it means she did something with the minister because it got her, it's got her blood on it. Yes, ma'am. Which means it probably was dropped at the course of the crime. Objection. In the course, excuse me. And... I fail to see how it is relevant to your argument. What do you mean? Did that not belong to the accused? That's what I thought too. After all, Dirk had said it did himself. He said that? Yes, but it was a lie. Because I believe he was covering for someone. Covering? How? For who? Amari, you know, don't you? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. This is gonna get worse before it gets better. <laughs> There's a certain piece of evidence that shows the pendant isn't Dirk's. Oh, okay, so is it, okay, you know what? Is this the place where we would put the photo at then? Cause we, look, he's got a matching blue one. That's what I would think. Okay, we're gonna try that. Take that. That's gotta be it, so that makes the most sense. That's a photo of the accused body, is it not? Yes, it is. And I'd like to call your attention to a certain spot in it. This right here proves that the pendant was found in the tomb wasn't Dirk's. Oh, this is... Ugh, this is so sad. Take that! Jeez! You will notice an object near Dirk's left arm. It's an identical pendant, except it's blue. Oh, now that you mention it. Don't you find that a little strange? Why would he own two of them, but in different colors? Here's what I think. The pendants were meant to go together as a pair. A pair? You know, like friendship. You know, remember those best friend necklaces in the 90s? You know, the ones that go together, they make a heart, and then when you split them apart, it says best and friends, right? If the blue pendant was Dirk's, then what about this pink one with Minister Inga's blood on it? Who do you suppose it belongs to? Amara, are you gonna fess? Objection. It's yours, girl. It makes total sense now. Sorry to disappoint, but... No fingerprints were found on the pink pendant. <gasps> Why the fuck you lying? It shows it right there on the picture of it. Therefore, we have no way of knowing to whom it belongs. Objection. Oh, ho, ho, sir. No, sir. Ah, but that's where you're wrong, Prosecutor Sadmati. I'm guessing you didn't know that this pendant is actually a locket. It's on the inside of it, that's why he didn't know about it. Come again? Uh, don't mind if I do! Oh, you know what? Send that to me. I'll wallpaper my house with it. <laughs> now, this is where it gets interesting. When we opened this locket up... We found a faint fingerprint inside, on the back of the lid to be exact. Well, I wouldn't say that's the back of the lid, it's the inside of it, really. What? No. So now the question is, to whom does the fingerprint belong? Oh, you sweating now, huh, honey? You sweating. Queen Amara. It belongs to you, doesn't it? What's she gonna say? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what, uh, yes? Seems I've truly rendered the witness speechless this time around. But this can 
cannot be. Mother, tell me it does not belong to you. She can't. There's no way. Mayuta, I... Oh boy. Think about it, Queen Amara. Dirk must have realized that you were channeling his spirit. And he had probably already figured out who the minister's killer was. And yet, he still claimed that the pink pendant belonged to him. That's so sad! How could he have figured all this out and he just knew? But why would he do such a thing? Girl, he loved you! Are you serial? You really don't know? He was protecting you. Because he loved you. Oh no, I don't... Mm, girl, oh no, guys, I, am, I don't think I'm ready for this. Oh hell no. Uh-uh. Oh, here we go. He loved you until his very last breath and beyond. I have one more big secret. I'm afraid I can't tell you what it is. I'd be betraying a certain someone if I did. Now we know who that is. Now we know. Dirk knew everything, even that he was being used. But he kept quiet all for your sake. Girl, he loved you so much. Dirk, why do you always... Well, Queen Amara, Dirk, the one whose love for you never wavered all these years. Are you going to betray him now? This is so sad. D Dirk, I... <gasps> oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Girl, is this it? Can we do something here? Okay. This, this cannot be. I refuse to accept it. Well, there, no surprise there. Queen Amara, are you ready to confess to your crime? Oh, she, oh. Maybe not. She's stone cold again. I can deny it no longer. Really? The truth is, it was I, Amara Sigatar Kurain, who slew Minister Inga. That's preposterous! Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Why? Oh, wait, okay, okay. Okay, here we fucking go. This is beyond belief. Mother, why would you? Forgive me, Nayuta. I never wished to cause you such sorrow. But I had no choice. It was the only way. The only way? What are you talking about, girl? You gotta tell- you gotta spill! So, in the end, Queen Amara and Dirk Sadmati... I suppose this means that they were unable to reconcile while he was still alive. I don't think the state of the kingdom or the incidents of the past would have allowed that. That's so sad, though! They were prisoners of their shared history, so to speak. Queen Amara, there's something I need to know. You had staged a near-perfect crime. So why did you bring this pendant into the tomb with you? You should have known that it would have come back to haunt you. Why did you? I do not really understand it myself. I had nearly been assassinated by my own husband. Yet I could not bear any hatred towards him. I was unable to discard this or part with it for even a short time. No, she loved him that much? No, oh my god, my heart, I can't take this. As with Dirk, I have never stopped loving my husband for the past 23 years. That's so sad, mother. So she really believes it? That Dirk tried to assassinate her? How do we fix that? Pink butterfly pens and updated. A locket found at the crime scene, it actually belongs to Amara. Okay. Your Majesty, is it not time? 
time to declare Dirk innocent. I would ask that you do this for my beloved, who now dwells in the Twilight Realm. Okay. Very well. Your Eminence, Prosecutor Sadmati, if you have no further objections. <clears throat> this cannot be. My mother, I'm so... Oh my god, he's about to lose both his parents. Girl, she don't give a shit. She's hanging out. Do You know what? Doing her thing. I have no objection. You have nothing to say to this? It's your sister, dude. Oh, brother. Dirk, I did it. I did it. I proved your innocence. Something's not right here, though. We have not wrapped up everything. Not even close. But... Yeah, there, yes, I say but, too. There's a big but here. A big one. It's huge. Very well, then. Being the Queen Amara yet lives, we can no longer charge the accused with an assassination that never came to fruition. As for the murder of Mr. Inga, the truth has been laid to bear for all to see. Therefore, I will now pass judgment upon the accused, Mr. Dirk Sadmati. Okay. We oh yeah, I, I'm, I, I knew. It was way too soon. Who's doing that? Who did that? Rafa! Girl, you alright? Your benevolence? Girl! You okay? I... I... I cannot accept this. Wait, what's wrong? Oh, uh, is something the matter, your benevolence? Queen Amara is lying. It makes no sense. Queen Amara would not have killed my father. What's with her all of a sudden? Is this some sort of lingering affection towards Nana? I don't know. That's uh, She came out of left field. I did not expect that. Rafa. Speak the truth, Queen Amara. Did you really kill my father? Yes. There is no mistake. Oh no, she doesn't- sh Oh, man. Too mu it's too much. This is too much for her and everybody in here. She has confessed to the crime, thereby clearing the accused of all suspicion. As such, I see no need to continue these proceedings. Barbed head! Hornhead! Are you going to let this stand? What's wrong with her? Dirk's been proven innocent and he's about to be declared not guilty. Even so, something doesn't feel right. Is she actually lying? Wait, what's going on? Apollo? If you have any doubts, now's the time to raise them. Wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. If she was really, if she was really lying, wouldn't Apollo's bracelet be going off? Or something? After all, the courtroom is a place for finding the whole truth. But it's all up to you. What do we do? There are definitely things that don't quite add up. Does this mean that the whole truth hasn't been brought to light yet? Should I push to continue the trial? Oh no. Uh-oh. Oh shit, when you- Listen, when you have a choice like this... There's a- it never is let it end here. Never. It never has been and it never will be. I wonder what it says, though, when you hit let it end. Can you let me know? I'll have to look it up after this. No, 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 no. I agree that's, that this doesn't feel finished. But I wonder what this means. I'm doing it. Your Majesty, I have a feeling we haven't discovered the whole truth. And the only way we'll ever find it is to continue the trial. Hornhead... Very well. Will the defense please tell us this? Uh-oh. What important fact about this case has yet to come to light? The murder method, the motive, and Amara's Mary are definitely the motive! The whole thing that doesn't make sense is, why the fuck did any of this occur? Sorry to use the slur, but you get, you get what I mean. Why the heck did any of this occur? What was the problem? Who was trying to get Inga killed? Who wanted Dirk killed? Well, I mean, obviously everybody, but like, you get what I mean? Like, what? The whole thing. Why would she do this? Why would she know that Maya was set up to also channel? How was this even conceived? So I'm gonna go with the motive. What what started all this? Other than the fact that she thinks that he they tried to assassinate her. But is that really it? That can't just be all. There's gotta be something else. Queen Amara? There's something I still don't understand. What was your motive for killing Justice Minister Inga? Yeah, the Dirk thing I kinda get, but what, what happened there? That is a fair question, and one that I shall now answer. 
It was for the future of this kingdom that I slew Inga Karkul Kurain. To avert further tragedy, his death was an unfortunate necessity. Further tragedy? What does that mean? Over the past several years, Minister Inga had been rapidly expanding his power. He had established the secret police and was relentless in his pursuit of the insurgents. He even had the overwhelming support of the people, but he was still not satisfied. Hungry for more power, he began planning a coup d'etat. You mean his plot involving the Founder's Orb, which led to Maya's Faye's abduction? Yes. Minister Inga planned to use the orb to gain access to great spiritual power. After which, he would assassinate Garan and usurp the throne. That seems plausible. His machinations were reminiscent of that terrible tragedy of 23 years ago. And as one affected by that incident, Amara vowed to never allow a repeat of such events. Yes. And the Holy Mother delivered onto me the perfect opportunity to fulfill my vow. Security amid the courtyard was rather light due to the rite of channeling. And Inga had barricaded himself in the tomb with his hostage away from prying eyes. I knew I would never again have such a perfect opportunity, so... At 2 p.m. during the rite of channeling, I slipped into the tomb and slew the minister. <gasps> She's lying. That scared the shit out of me, too. Mm -mm. She's li Girl, I was just about Did I not say this? Apollo? Uh-huh. Seems this trial is far from over. Uh-oh. Girl, how could you do this? Queen Amara, I believe you're still hiding something. No, ma'am. But if you want to keep on playing this game of hide and seek, then let's start with that last statement you made. Is she gonna... <laughs> if I must? All right. Oh, you, you guys know how terrible I am at this, but I will, I will try. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pause everywhere. So where do we want to push this as well? At 2 p.m. during the rite of channeling. At 2 p.m. during the rite of channeling. Let's see, you got her fingers here. It's probably something small. Something like really, really tiny. And slew the minister. Look at your face, too. Alright, listen again. Alright, let's let's just perceive in different places to see if anything is moving. Like, at this point, it could even be something like a, a, her hair or like a piece of clothing that she's got. You know what I mean? Oh! What's the- That just- Wait, at the beginning? At, is it something that has to do with two? Gotcha. It's right there. Oh, thank God, that one didn't take a lot of time. Sometimes, man, I swear. Wait, what is- So, so it's about the time? Queen Amara? You're not very comfortable talking about the two o'clock rite of channeling, are you? I can tell because the finger on your left hand twitched almost imperceptibly when you did. Oh? And that pose you make, is there something about your chest that makes you nervous? Whatever do you mean? The murder occurred at 2 p.m. And I'm pretty positive Amara was in the tomb at that time. So then why is she so self-conscious about her chest when she talks about the right- Uh-oh. The right of channeling? Didn't Albi snap a picture of it? Queen Amara, I have here a picture of the right of channeling. It was secretly taken by a certain individual. <gasps> Objection! Uh-oh! Such insolence! I would not have the perpetrator's name at once! Shit, no, don't give that up! Sorry, no can do! You see, I, uh... I just happened to find it on the ground, so... 
Good, good, yes. We would never throw him under the bus. No, snitches get stitches. Do you take me for a fool? Um, how about we discuss the photo's origin a little later? Because right now... Is there something I missed on this? There's something much more pressing at hand. I believe this photo merits further examination. What's in the photo that we didn't notice? Am I stupid? I just wish there was more to see in it than darkness and more darkness. It's dark as hell. What are we supposed to see in there? We might be able to make a few more details with some image adjustment. Yes, please. Turn up the brightness. Get some Photoshop on this. Please, I need it. I, I've needed that for the entire game. Let's ask Emma if she can help. Emma, break out the Photoshop, ma'am. Hey, look, please summon Detective Sky to the Hall of Justice. All right, let, listen. You got some Photoshop there on your phone? Here you are. I was able to obtain a much clearer image by raising the brightness. Wait, okay. Huh? What's that right there? An injury? No, wait. I, I think it's a burn scar. <gasps> I, I, wait a minute. So that's not... It's not Garan. It's Amara in disguise. Motherfuck. You know what I was just about to say? L guys, I s hand to God. I swear, I was just about to be like, do not light in this photo and tell me the way we could tell them apart is one has a huge rack and the other one does not. <laughs> I was just about to be like, all right, whose titties is bigger up in here? Because listen, Garan and her outfit. Now we can't really tell with Amara, but Garan's got some big ones and it's, it's noticeable. You would have known. Wait a second. But this, okay, this does a little more classy than, you know, I would have, but whatever. I was, I was seriously about to go on the hunt for booby. We were about to examine some boobs. Your eminence. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Listen, it's different, but it's also the same. Game, what is you doing? Also, can we talk about the size difference perhaps? Because there's a clear size difference as well. I guess that would be rude. Let's talk about the burn scar instead. Okay, fine. Listen, it's, 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 it's probably bad that I went there first, isn't it? Oh, fine. You know what? There's no help for me, but whatever. I know who I am. You don't have a burn scar like that on your chest. Your, your huge chest, which is huge. Ma'am. Listen. Whoa, what a... They have, did, they did the old switcheroo. Are you serious? But why? What would that have accomplished? What's going on here? It was still done even if they switched places. If the person in the photo isn't Queen Garan, then who is it? Ma'am! What, what, what is this day? Is this just dress up like everyone else day? Literally no one has been who they said they were the whole freaking time. Not a single goddamn person. Queen Amara, the person in this photo isn't Queen Garan. It's you. Posing as her, isn't it? Um... The two of you look quite similar, but that's no surprise considering your sisters. It's true. Yeah, take away most of it and look. I mean, they've got almost the same marks on their face. They're a little bit different, but not by much. And in a photo like that, that that's dark, of course you wouldn't be able to tell. Like, side by side now, you can tell, right? Their face structure is a little bit different. The mouth is different, the eyes shape is different. But, in that kind of photo, no way would you be able to tell. Unless you're looking at the boobies, which is what me as a logical detective tried to do. And you're both capable of channeling spirits. Therefore, it would have been easy for you to impersonate Queen Garan. What is the hair then? Just a wig, I suppose. <gasps> well, she basically just admitted it. Queen Amara. You have a burn scar on your chest, don't you? Time to whip him out, girl. I'm sorry, it's the law. <laughs> Please remove your round mandala so we can see what's behind it. That's true. In Phoenix Wright games, you can always tell what they're hiding because they're doing something with their body all the time that means something. It's always a kind of riddle to figure out what. No. No. <sighs> oh shit, oh girl, what are you doing? Are you, okay, no, do not summon Satan in here. This is a court of law. Oh shit, wait, you do have the booby. I'm sorry. You actually do, though. No, my theory down the toilet. How could you do this to me, game? Oh, come on. My theory was solid until this moment. No, they got the same titty. Well, excuse me. 
It's the exact same burn scar as the one in the photo. She must have gotten that from her ordeal. I don't understand. I knew it. Why did this... Why? Well, what does this mean? So they switched, so what? So the person in this photo really is... Yes, it's Queen Amara. This is absurd. Are you suggesting they switch places? And this whole episode is switching places. Amara's confession earlier was also false. Mother, what is the meaning of this? What, what are you guys doing? What is the plan here? Don't you see? This changes everything. We know for a fact that this photo was taken at 2 p.m. The exact time the murder took place. But that would mean Queen Amara couldn't possibly have committed the crime. Exactly. She now has an ironclad alibi. Was she... Was she covering for Garan the whole time? Why? So Minister Inga's killer couldn't have been Queen Amara. I, I am afraid I no longer follow defense. Was it not Queen Amara who channeled the minister and the accused to stage the crime? Yes, that fact has not changed. We have evidence placing her at the scene of the crime. And Dirk could have only been in there in the tomb if she were channeling him. Which means... While Queen Amara did use spirit channeling to stage the crime, she didn't kill Minister Inga. His real killer is someone else. <gasps> Girl, and we know who. There can only be one person. What's going on? Was her mercifulness covering for someone? You damn well bet she was. If Queen Amara is not the killer, then who is it? Isn't it obvious? There can only be one more person. There's only one more person it could be. Why was this rite held in the first place if Queen Garan wasn't going to perform it? Oh boy. Who was behind the two sisters switching places and for what reason? The answers to these questions along with the establishment of Queen Amara's alibi obliterate a certain someone else's alibi. Oh my god. Oh boy. Take that! It's her. Just like we always thought, because you don't dress up that evil and not be evil. <laughs> Is this some kind of a joke? No, your majesty. I could never joke about something so grave. The only one who seemed to have a perfect alibi at the time of the murder was her eminence, Garan Sigatar Kurain. What you gonna say now? See more? Queen Amara, didn't your sister Queen Garan ask you to pose as her? perform the rite of channeling. I... And didn't she also have you drive Dirk's spirit from Miss Faye's body? And then stage the crime to make it look like he was the minister's killer? You're gonna go to death for your sister, though? Why? What's she hiding? And at 2 p.m. while you were performing the rite of channeling as Queen Garan... Didn't she kill Minister Inga while disguised as Dirk? This is crazy. Well, your mercifulness? <gasps> it's no use trying to hide it any longer. You need to tell us the truth now. Mother. What's she gonna do? Is she gonna do it? Girl, come on. Nothing could you could be covering for is that important. Minister Inga's true killer is... Is? Is? <gasps> oh! My god! <laughs> I really did it! Your eminence, my life is yours! Isn't he one of Garan's royal guards? No! You bitch! Queen Amara! Bailiff, arrest that guardsman! Mother! Garan couldn't have. Could she? She don't look too upset! <laughs> Just putting that!
Panther! Someone call for an ambulance quickly now! Holy crap! What's going on? Where the hell are we, Paris? What? Uh, uh, I'm sorry? Shut the fuck up! <laughs>